Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to record your iPhone screen on your computer or on your Mac. Audio jungle. So in this example, I am going to be recording this on my MacBook Pro uh, 2018. And it's no different if you're going to be using your PC or your computer or your Windows 10 machine to record your screen or to record your iPhone screen. So the way you do this is actually we use a program called OBS and I'll leave a link in the description on how to download OBS. OBS is completely free. I use a combination of tools to do screen recordings, captures and so on. One of them is Camtasia. I like Camtasia just because uh, it has an easy workflow but if you're just getting started the best and easiest way is just to use OBS, which stands for Open Broadcast System, and it's available on Mac and Windows. So let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure your, your iPhone is plugged in. And once your iPhone is plugged in and you have OBS downloaded, at the bottom left here, uh, there's some other tutorials on just how to set, it, set up OBS from scratch, but once you have everything set up here, basically at the bottom left here are your scenes. You know, a scene could be, a scene could include different sources and elements within your, your window, I'd say. So let's say, I'll show you an example. Um, let's go to my iPhone overlay. And there you go. So this is an example of the source. And then in that source, which is a scene. So I hope it kind of makes sense. Um, once you start playing around with it, you'll get a better understanding of exactly what scenes and sources are. So sources are like when you start adding your, your captures, your sources like your devices, your monitors, etc. So over here underneath this iPhone background, I actually have an iPhone overlay, so which is here. Then I have my iPhone XS device, which is being captured. And then I have my media source, which is right here, this media source. And then here is just a, a, a capture for capturing this whole, whole screen here. So let's go into another one. And I'll give you another example before I get into the, this tutorial. So uh, here is a YouTube subscribe. So underneath YouTube subscribe, I actually have subscribe here. And if I click this little eye, it'll remove it. Click it back on again. And I'll show you another one with um, the office iPhone background, which is this one. My iPhone screen itself. So now my iPhone screen is just the blank screen. And as you can see in the sources, there's no other media. There's, there's no other capture. It's just my iPhone itself, which is being captured. But if I go to my other one, which is the office background, you can see I have a media source in the background, my iPhone, and then the iPhone overlay, which is a kind of another image, the iPhone overlay, which I think I grabbed it off of, of Google somewhere. But anyways, that is kind of a brief explanation, and let's get into it. Let's go into adding your iPhone into OBS to record. So the first thing you want to do is come over here to the bottom left and click on plus. Now we can name this called uh, Test iPhone uh, Video Capture. Click OK. Now that we have this video capture, now we have an empty window and we have to add a source. So the first thing you're going to do is click on plus and we are going to call it a video capture. Select this, video capture device. Now as you can see, I already have a bunch of video capture sources. One is my Android phone. I have a Samsung Galaxy S10, I believe, and then I have a flip, which is actually uh, a video source, which is a camera that points to my flip screen. And then this is my iPhone X, which I already have, and then another video capture card, which we'll get into later. But so let's create a new one. So let's create new. We'll click OK. Now it's going to pop up this window. And in this window here, you want to select your device. So the device that you're going to be selecting, as long as you have it plugged in, OBS and your Mac or your Windows should be able to detect this device. So now you can see I have 
my FaceTime HD camera, which is native MacBook Pro video camera, my iPhone X, which we want to select. And this is another webcam that I'm using, which is the Logitech Brio. And so what we're going to do is click, select the iPhone X. And there you go. And you can see that it pops up. Now, if it doesn't pop up, what I like to do, and, and don't get worried because this happens quite often. So my toolbar is in the way here. So there we go. We just clicked OK. And then now you can kind of drag your element however you want. You can adjust it, um, add images, add backgrounds, etc. So, and that is it. That's all you want to do. And once you have your media, your source, and everything else, now you could start recording your your iPhone screen. And the best way to do that is just come over to the bottom right here and click Start Recording. And it starts to record. So you can see my audio mixer is here. I'm working with a Focusrite and a Rode Wireless GoPro. And when you want to stop the recording, just click on Stop here. And then you can see that it's actually coming over here into my movies folder, which is here. And it saves it as an MP4. And the thing I like about OBS is, you know, it doesn't really render. It just captures it right away. And as soon as you press stop, that video file is already into OBS. And you can post edit it. I like to post edit everything into Final Cut Pro. Um, and then depending on what else I'm doing, sometimes I'll just use Camtasia just for simple stuff. But when I want to get into more professional video editing and adding different animations, maybe logo, maybe intros, and I'll use Final Cut Pro. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to comment, subscribe, and like, and I'll see you in the next video.